welcome back to episode two of the Rosa Bonadonna show. Okay, so I have a few juicy stuff to talk about. So let's start with relationship rundown. So, word on the street is Kylie and Tyga are back together. And I'm not surprised. But I do feel like it's probably not going to last like forever. But let Kylie do what she wants, you know. As little, at least she's not going to sleep around with a bunch of other guys, you know. She's just sleeping with one rapper. <laughs> But I don't feel like it's going to last forever because she's young, you know. She's only like 18. She's not going to be with him. I feel like the only way she'll be with him for her whole life is like if she ends up getting pregnant. Like in her 20s, 19 or whatever. I have no idea, but I feel like it won't last long. So, and I also feel like, I feel bad for Tyga. Like why would you get her name tatted on you? I would totally understand if you got tattoos, matching tattoos together, or if she was like 25, 30, and she's trying to settle down in life, but she's hella young. Next uh, couple rundown is Kourtney Kardashian and P. Diddy's son, Quincy. First of all, Quincy looks hella hot. Not in this picture, I don't like his hair, but in this picture, he's really beautiful. Um, yeah, so like, I'm not really into dating, like, I... Obviously not now, but I mean when I'm older, I don't think I would date younger men. I think it's weird. But then I think like, why not? Like, look at J-Lo dating that younger guy. Like, why not, you know? I don't know. Like, we'll see, guys. We'll see when I get like 40 and if I want to date like a 25-year-old or something. Okay, so he's 25 and Courtney is 37. So they're 12 years apart. And yeah, I don't feel like she's gonna, it's either they're friends or they're just using each other for sex because I feel like she's gonna end up back with Scott. So yeah, I feel like it's just a fling, it's not gonna last. Okay, now, I want. we were speaking about hot younger guys dating older women, let's talk about hot younger girls dating older men. I picked my four over 40. So four hot guys that are over 40. Celebrity world. Patrick Dempsey from Grey's Anatomy. He's 50. If you asked me to marry him tomorrow, I would just say yes. Even if he didn't want to marry me, he wanted me to be like his side chick, I would still say yes. He's so beautiful. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. He is so beautiful. He was in Grey's Anatomy too, and I, I fell in love with his character, Denny. Idris Elba. He's 43. He's so well put together. <laughs> and George Clooney. It's like he never aged after a certain age. <laughs> okay, next thing is Kanye West's music video. Did you guys see it? Okay, I at first I only saw like the Rihanna, like someone cropped Rihanna only. And she looked hella real. I was like, why would Rihanna want to put herself like that on his music video? Then I started reading comments and apparently they're like, wax or something i'm guessing the wax because you know at wax museums like some of them look hella real so i'm assuming he did it with wax or something yeah um i thought it was weird i was like oh my god this cannot be real because they look freaking real so i was like this can't be real like why would taylor swift lie beside kim and kanye naked so oh yeah and if you look at the picture you can tell like kim helped design this because kim looks all perfect with her long hair just like you know lying down and then there's like amber rose who looks like just like naked and then like you can tell like she looks all like perfect compared to the others you know yeah and so ray j was also on there and there was like bill cosby i was wondering why bill cosby there oh my god so i watched a video of someone like reacting to it and i died he's like oh bill cosby's there no wonder they're asleep you get it i i thought it was funny okay so Okay, so uh, TMZ saw Ray J and they were asking about it. And Ray J's manager was like, was Ray J's little Ray J, little Ray J in Kim's mouth? I guess he was saying because like in the sex tape, you know, little Ray J was everywhere on Kim. <laughs> so yeah, I think he meant something like that, but I, I was like, ooh. Before, before we end this episode, I want to play a little game of who were best. So I picked three pictures I found on internet and stuff, and I want to know who you think wore it best, and I'll share who I think wore it best. 
So you can answer the poll questions. I think it's over there. Okay, so Lucy Hale or Selena Gomez? I think Selena Gomez. First of all, like I find it fits her better. And the bottom of hers looks nice. Like it looks better. Who do you guys think? Vote. Okay, Rihanna or Julia Roberts? I love Julia Roberts. She's so pretty. She's a great actor, but Rihanna were better. And I don't even like the dress really, but if I had to pick, like I feel like Rihanna wore it better. Okay, so Kim or Amber Rose? Um, Kim. I think Amber's boobs are just really too big for like the cup holder part. Do you guys get what I mean? Yeah, so that's our little game who wore better. Also, there's one more poll question that me that is, um, do you think this picture is real or fake? Because I saw this and I had to share it with you guys. I hope it's fake. They're like, oh, I think Khloe Kardashian has like a, a professional Instagram editor for her photos. And I was like, oh my god, please tell me the other one's not real. Because it looks hella scary. So I think it's fake. But it could look so real. Oh, it was scary. Tell me what you guys think. Because I find Khloe's pretty and stuff, you know. But sometimes, like, I know they do, like, cake on makeup a lot. So tell me if you think it's real or fake. Vote. So yeah, I hope you liked this episode. Oh, and also tell me below two of your favorite actors or actresses or celebrities or whatever. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Follow my social media accounts. See you.